a book basket, like a bread basket in my office. I throw some new books in, and I just want to be reminded of them. So I just peeked in there before I came to see, do any tie to the topics. I just want to show you a couple of books that tie. So, A Refugee's Journey from Syria. It's nonfiction. Okay. So this one just helps you see what poverty looks like on many different levels, on a more global scale, what's going on in other parts of the world. One of your favorites, My Librarian is a Camel, shows how uh, books are gotten in remote places. And Zara used this book to do an incredible program uh, where they actually collected books and got them to the, book, the bookmobile in Pakistan through this book. So if you want to know about that, Zara is phenomenal to help you figure that out. But this shows how people in remote villages, very poor locations, get access to books. It's a wonderful book. Um, children's rights in America, you know, we didn't have them for a long time, you know, a lot of rights or whatever. But on our way to Oyster Bay, Mother Jones, it tells you who she really was and why there's Mother Jones magazine and why you talk about her. But it shows you about the children's march that was led to get rights for children on our way to Oyster Bay. And it really helps you see about how children's rights are connected to poverty. So this is an excellent book, a little social justice thrown in here. In Our Village, uh, as some of you remember, we used this book and we wrote our own In Our Village book. This shows you about poverty in a Tanzanian village, East Tanzania. It's a gorgeous book written by the high school kids that tell you what it's like to live in their shoes, literally, because they just put it all out there, the photographs and the essays they write. This gives you an incredible lens on poverty. Uh, you can only get this book through me on the planet. The last one I wanted to mention briefly is 14 Cows for America, which is the book about September 11th. It's in English and Spanish. And this is a book about a, a, a Maasai warrior who was in New York City when the Twin Towers fell. And when he returned, I'm not, if you don't know this book, you just have to have it. But um, it, and what, what happens is the people, and it's based on a real story, and it shows you real photographs of the real people involved. When he went to his village, and he told them about what happened. They not heard because they had no communication. He said, how do we help these poor Americans? So oh, we'll give them cows, So, because that's sacred to them. And they collected 14 cows for America. And the American ambassador from Malawi went there to get the cows. And they said, we can't take them back with us right now. Would you keep them for us? So in this village, the herd is up to about 36 now. We own cows. And one of the lines in the book that is so exquisite, that, again, one of those things, um, is because there's no nation so powerful it cannot be wounded, nor people so small they cannot offer mighty comfort. So I think that relates to this issue of poverty. We can't fix it all, but we can do something that offers some mighty comfort along this way of figuring it out. And I think that's important for us to think about what we can do.